Hey, welcome to Cody the Car Guy. So if you got a key in your Chevy Envoy and you can't get it to come back and you're in park right here, and you notice that this is awful soft, it's not popping back, and you can pretty much move your gear shifter just at any time like that, that's telling you that your key solenoid is not releasing. So I'm gonna show you how to fix it real quick. Now one of the first things you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and pull your gear shifter back into the low range, first gear area. You got T15 right here, so we're going to go ahead and remove that right there, and that'll give you some access to underneath, so we can get this. More than likely, your switch down below is actually stuck, so we're going to have to go ahead and remove this. Now you see that's already loose. Now we're going to have to pry up here and get this out. All right, once you have this loose right here, and you can see it pulls up a little bit. Next, you want to come down here and you want to pry out right here where your boot is. You want to go ahead and pop this right on out. It just literally comes out on a clip and you can slide this right out. All right, you're gonna go ahead and remove there are six bolts. You have two up here, two back here, and two down in the cubby hole. Once you get that out of the way, you're gonna go ahead and pull this out because I'm gonna tell you right now, I guarantee you underneath here, it's gonna be full of sticky. So, I'm gonna unplug the sensor right here and get this out of the way. Now one thing you'll notice in here is all this dirt and crud, so you're gonna need, uh, take some uh, cleaner, and right here it's all sticky. So you have to take something, spray it in here, clean this all up, and then uh, we're going to lube where the actual piece comes for the sensor. Where you pull back, you can actually see the uh, connection going back and forth. That's where your sensor is. That has to know it's in park before to release your key. All right, now if you pull out this right here and you see this is stuck in here, that when I first pulled this out, it was in like all the way inside there. Now, if it's all the way in, one of the things you can do is you're gonna have to clean it, take it apart. Let me show you. Simply remove these. Let me show you what it looks like in there. If that switch is in there, it's not working correctly, it's not gonna know to release the key. Now what happens is when you see all this gunk right here, it will actually jam it up in there and it'll be up in here like that. Once it's pushed in there, it doesn't know to release. So, and that's what this one was. It was stuck up in there just like that. So, literally, I have it working now. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a little bit of light grease around here so that way it all works. We're gonna use a little corrosion X on here and get this all back together. I've already cleaned it with a little brake cleaner. Got some of the old coke off that's on here. Um, so it is actually working pretty good. It's nice and smooth. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned up and see if it fixes the problem. All right, I sprayed a little, I sprayed a little bit of corrosion X up in here so it's all lubricated. Actually, it's working pretty good. Uh, all right, we're gonna go bolt this back together and then we're gonna test it while it's off the uh, shift um, mechanism and make sure it's working. Now that you plug the sensor back in and you see this piece is up right here, it should tell it's in park now, so it should actually release your key. So let's go ahead and see if it removes your key. Come right up here and boom, look at that, that's your key. So that right there tells you if you've got coke and everything else, dog hairs, um, someone spills a drink in there, it will actually mess up the solenoid down here, uh, the little switch. It doesn't know to release it right here and then you can't get your key out of it. So now that we've got that done, let's go and start putting this back together. It's just two screws that come in. You literally have to pull this back out of the park so you can slide this back into place. And then you can get your screws in. So it literally comes in just like this. And you turn around and slide right up in there. So like that. Now once that's back in there, we're going to go ahead and put the screws back in and um, we'll make sure it works. And from there, you should be able to turn your key on and off and remove it, no problem. There you go. So once that solenoid is released like that, now the key thinks it's in park like it's supposed to and it actually works. So that is your uh, how to fix your uh, stuck key in your uh, Chevy, or actually GMC Envoys. I hope that helps you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Love 59 videos. Oh.